and welcome back again. I hope you all are doing well, had a great weekend and looking forward to a fun week ahead. I hope you all are looking forward to a fun class today. Um, we're gonna be building off of what we've already learned. So it's gonna be a bit of a flow practice, of course, with our relaxation at the end. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna get started in a comfortable seated position as always, using your support if you need to, putting on your music or your essential oil aromatherapy, um, if you would like that. And let's begin with our grounding technique. So finding that comfortable seat, go ahead and close down the eyes. Just begin to bring yourself here and now releasing all outside thoughts, maybe things you have to do today, things you have to do later this week. Let all that go and just allow the mind to be here and now. Today we're going to work on our ujjayi breath. So we're going to take about five ujjayi breaths. Starting with a nice big inhale through the nose, inhaling as deep and as long as you feel comfortable. We're going to exhale, exhale with the H ah sound, getting all the air out of the lungs. And inhale again through the nose and exhale with the H ah like we're trying to fog up that window so let's do four more this time we're going to close down the mouth so inhaling through the nose exhale with the H ah but mouth closed Get three more. Inhale through the nose. Exhale. Good. Two more. See if you can hear your breath. You should feel a little bit warm as well. Let's inhale through the nose. Exhale. Last one, inhale through the nose, exhale, good, gently open up the eyes, we're going to begin with our wrist movements, let's go ahead and do some wrist circles. With the ujjayi breath, it should almost feel like it's in the back of your throat, that's where you should feel that ujjayi breath, it almost feels like a little bit of a snore. Um, so. We'll practice it again at the end, so we'll have another opportunity to practice. Go ahead and re uh, reverse the circles of the wrists. A couple times, just warming up the body, getting ready to practice. Good, and release. We're gonna go into the shoulders, so let's go ahead and lift our hands. Tap our fingers onto our shoulders here. Open up nice and big, making those circles as big or as small as you would like. Whatever fits your body today, how it, however it's feeling. Okay, let's get one more this direction. And reverse, circles inward. arms up overhead, reach those arms up towards the sky, gently place our right fingertips on the side of our hip here, reach up until we just gently tilt over towards the right. Again, we're not crashing into our right side, we're staying lifted, opening up through that left side body. Inhale up, exhale, left fingertips down and up and over towards the left, just tilting, not crashing down. Staying lifted through that right hand side body. Good, let's do one more each side. Reach up, right fingertips down, tilting over towards the right. Inhale, lift. Exhale, left fingertips down and up and over towards the left. Good. This time we're going to take a twist as we inhale, lift those arms up towards the sky. Right fingertips now come behind the back, left hand on that leg, on the right thigh. 
Inhale, lift and lengthen the spine here in this position. And if you want to stay here and it feels good, stay here. If you would like to look over that right shoulder, just to intensify the stretch just a bit, you're more than welcome to take that as well. Again, always listening to your body and whatever feels best for your body today. Inhale, lift. Exhale, let's switch sides. Left hand behind the back, right hand on the thigh. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Stay here. Or exhale, look over that left shoulder. Good. Let's do one more each side. Reach those arms up and switch sides. Inhale as you lengthen the spine. Exhale as you look over the shoulder. Inhale, lift. Exhale, switch sides. Very good. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, release those hands. Let's go ahead and move on over into a tabletop. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. Remember, wide with the fingers. If you have a smartwatch or a watch, I would take it off so it doesn't compress the wrists. Move through some cat cows. So let's inhale, point the tailbone, lift the gaze, drop the belly. Exhale, curl it under chin to chest, navel to spine, squeeze those glutes. Inhale, lift. Exhale, under. Let's take three more. Inhale as we lift. Exhale as we take it under. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, under. Last one. Inhale, up. Exhale, it under. Good. Come back to that neutral tabletop. We're going to take our uh, thread the needle, upper body twist. Inhale, lift the left arm first. Exhale, thread that left arm underneath the right. Bring the left ear down on the mat. Adjust your neck if you need to to make it comfortable. Keep that hand flat, the left hand that flat on the ground. Stay here with the right hand for support. You could also bring it up overhead if you want a little bit of a intensi intensify the stretch. If you want to take a bind, you could reach that right arm around towards your left hip. Okay, it's a little bit of a twist here. Really important, we're not lift lifting our feet up off the ground. Keep them nice and planted. Try not to let your feet come together to touch. Stay nice and grounded with those feet and those shins. A couple more breaths here. Enjoying this upper body twist, opening up through the shoulders. Good. Let's go to inhale, reach that right arm up towards the sky. Drop it on the ground as you lift that left arm up into the sky. Exhale, drop it down. Good. We're going to do the other side, inhaling our right arm up towards the sky. Inhale and exhale, thread the right arm underneath the left. Bringing your right sh shoulder down and the back of the right hand down on the ground. Keeping your left hand by the side body for support. Maybe bringing it up overhead. Maybe taking that bind if you tried it on the other side. Reaching towards that right hip. Check out your feet. Are they lifting or are they trying to touch? Try to keep some space in between them. Keep them grounded. Let's breathe here. Breathe into the shoulders, the chest, the neck. Let's enjoy this stretch for a couple moments. Very good. Let's inhale, left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, drop it down. Use that hand to push your right arm up. Inhale, exhale, release. Good, back in our tabletop. We're gonna tuck our toes, finding our first downward dog of the day. Check out your toes. Are they hip width apart? They should be. Let's go ahead and tuck those toes. Lift the knees off the ground to hover. Push the mat away. Stay strong through the upper body. Breathe here just for a few moments, creating some heat in the body. Good, take an inhale. Exhale, push your hips back. 
finding your first downward facing dog of the day, maybe of the week, since last time we did it, maybe. Go ahead and pedal out your leg, bending left and right knee. Try and open up a little bit more through the back of the legs, the hamstrings, the glutes. Tuck out your neck, is it tensed up? Try to shake it out, yes and no. Release some of that tension from the neck. Good, inhale, high up on your toes. Exhale, drop it down. Push your hips back. Find a child's pose here. Let yourself relax. We're gonna bend through the elbows, dropping them on the ground, creating this prayer position with the hands. Bring that prayer position to the base of the skull, opening up through the triceps, the under armpit. Right about here is where you should feel it. If you don't, maybe walk your elbows a little bit further up towards the front of your mat creating some more space there. Try to let your forehead come down on the mat. Breathe here, a couple more breaths. Good, and release. Go ahead and bring it forward, tabletop. Tuck in the toes, make sure they're hip width apart. Lift those knees up off the ground. Breathe here, a couple moments, doing great. Just getting some heat building in the body. Inhale, exhale, push those hips back. Find our downward dog again. Let that head be heavy. Try to get your ears in between your biceps. Make sure we're looking back at our legs and maybe even our knees or maybe even our belly button if we can get that low. So we're gonna add something into our downward dog here. Stay nice and grounded. I want you to shift your weight into your right hand. Now release your left hand and just grab towards your right ankle, maybe your right thigh or your, your right calf, wherever you can reach. Just hold here, stay strong through this right arm. This is a one-handed downward dog with a twist and release, good job. We're gonna shift our weight into our left hand, release your right hand, reach towards the outside ankle maybe the calf or the thigh, whatever we could grab a hold of. Stay strong through that left hand, breathe here, and release, high up on your toes, drop it down, child's pose. With those hands up overhead, just go ahead and walk them over towards the right side, maybe even coming off your mat, release your head down towards your mat. Check out your hips, did they try to rise? Keep them hovering over your heels, Inhale, look up at your hands, and exhale, walk them over towards the left side. Drop your head down, releasing through that right side body. Couple breaths here. Good, inhale, looking up, and exhale, bring it back through center. Bring it into our tabletop. We're gonna find our way into our downward dog again. We're gonna try that or that, excuse me, that one-handed downward dog. One more time, and then we're gonna keep it going. So go ahead and tuck your toes under, lift the hips up. So here we need to make sure we have a strong base, okay? So make sure you feel stable through your feet. Check out your hands, all 10 fingers should be down. Shift the weight into your right hand, stay nice and strong. Reach towards the outside of that right ankle. If you wanna go a little further, look underneath that armpit. Doing great, inhale, exhale, release, and let's switch sides. R right hand reaches towards the outside of that left ankle, maybe taking a peek underneath that left armpit. Remember to breathe, take an inhale, exhale, release those hands, drop it down. Quick child's pose here. Inhale, take it up. Tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Very good. Let's go ahead and walk our feet up to meet our hands. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. You could bend the knees if we need to here. Exhale, release. Ragdoll your way up one vertebrae at a time, meeting in a mountain pose at the top of our mats. Hands on the side of the body here. Roll those shoulders down and back. 
Take a couple breaths here. Good. And now we're gonna get flowing. So inhale, reach those arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive down. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen and step back that right foot. So we're in this low lunge pose. Everybody drop your back knee. Inhale, lift, reach those arms up overhead. Maybe take a slight back bend if it feels good here by sinking into that front knee and opening up the heart. Inhale up, exhale, drop the hands. To frame that front foot, we're gonna take a half splits here. Shift the hips back, straighten out through this front leg. You should be looking at your left toes, they should be up towards the ceiling. If you want a little bit more, begin to shimmy the legs apart. Check out your hips, we don't want them rolling open towards the side, we want them pulled forward. If you had strings on both hips, they would be going straight forward. Breathe into the left hamstring here, the left glute. Couple more breaths. Good. Bring that left foot into the body. Tuck the back toes under. Here we are in a lunge pose. Drop the hands. Step the left foot back. Downward dog. Good. Let's switch sides. Reach the right toes up towards the sky. Bring the knee in towards the nose. Look between the hands. Get that foot in between the hands. Drop the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, sweep the arms up overhead. Taking maybe a little back bend here if it feels good by sinking into the hip, sinking forward, opening up that chest up towards the sky. Very good, inhale, exhale, frame the foot with the hands. Shift the hips back to straighten out this right leg. Maybe move it forward if you need a little bit more. Only go to where your body feels good, right? You wanna push the border, the edges just a little bit, but not so much that we're hurting ourselves, okay? So inhale, breathe, exhale, melt into that front leg, keeping your gaze at your toes. Couple more breaths. Good, re-bend that front knee, plant the hands, tuck the back toes under, step that right leg back, finding our plank pose, knowing you could always modify by dropping the knees. We're gonna lower all the way down onto the belly. Inhale, baby cobra. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, baby cobra. I want you to keep your hips down, keep your feet down. Now release your hands up off the ground. Hold here, breathe into that low back for three, two. Take an inhale, exhale, release. Good, come back up through our plank pose. Find our downward facing dog, doing great. Gently walk those feet up to meet the hands. Half hip lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, release. Roll your way up, one vertebrae at a time, taking it nice and easy. Inhale, reach those arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive it down. You should be at the top of the mat because we need some space. Inhale, half lift, lengthen. Exhale, release. Inhale, lengthen, and I want you to step that left leg back, or excuse me, your right leg back into that low lunge pose. This time you're gonna drop the heel. Right toes are at a 45 degree angle towards the side. Both heels are in one line here. Ground down, squeeze the inner thighs together to help bring you up. Finding our warrior one. Bring those arms up overhead like you're holding a ball of energy here. Everyone, you're doing great. Stay breathing, maybe use that ujjayi breath. Inhale and then exhale, open up the hands as you twist open that right foot. So now we're in our warrior two pose. Check our left heel, it should be in line with our right heel. Right foot is parallel with the edge of your mat, so it should be right straight out towards the side. Now sink into our front knee as we open up our arms nice and wide. Shoot laser beams out of all 10 fingers. Just maybe sink a little lower into that front knee. 
I want you to check your front knee. Make sure it's at a 90 degree angle. We don't want it too far crashing up. Let's inhale, bring those arms up, straighten the legs. Exhale, sink back into our warrior two. Good job, let's do it one more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sink it down. Very good. What we're gonna do next is windmill the arms. So windmill the arms forward as you come high up on your back toes at the same time, okay? So we're here in this lunge position. We're gonna step our left leg into the sky for a three-legged dog. Doing good. Stay nice and strong here. Keep that leg up. Inhale, exhale. Drop it down. I want you to roll it forward. Drop it all the way onto the belly. Either take a baby, uh, baby cobra, or if you would like, walk the hands out, taking a seal pose. Roll those shoulders away from the ears. Inhale, exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, lift, seal pose. Exhale, release. Bring those hands into the side body. Let's go up through our plank pose, downward dog, and let's walk it forward. Inhale, half lift, exhale, release. Rag all your way up. Big inhale, bring those arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to heart. Good job, everybody. We're gonna do the other side. So if you're not at the top of the mat, let's go ahead and get there. I'm gonna switch sides so that I could be facing you guys. So inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive it down. Half lift, inhale, exhale, release. Inhale to make some space and step that left leg back this time. We're in this lunge pose first, right? We're on our toes. And then we drop our heel down. Both heels should be in one line, left foot now is out tight to a 45 degree angle, and we're gonna bring ourselves up. So really engaging the inner thighs will help you stay nice and strong. Let's adjust our position if we need to. Left foot 45 degree angle, both heels in one line. Now sink into that front knee, bend that front knee, it should be at about 45 degree angle. Bring those arms up overhead, like we're holding a ball of energy in between our hands. Strong warriors here. Couple breaths. Inhale and exhale. Open up into that warrior two. Now on the left side. So right heel is in line with our back arch. Our left foot is parallel to the back of our mat. Then we should sink into our front knee. Getting a little bit lower there. Arms up over, not up overhead, out towards the side. <laughs> Shoot laser beams out of all 10 fingers. Stay nice and strong. You should feel the energy getting created in that the lower body here. Let's inhale, sweep those arms up, straighten the legs. Exhale, sink again. Warriors, nice and strong. One more time, inhale, bring it up, sweep it up. Exhale, lower, looking just over those right fingertips. Couple more breaths here, we're almost there. Good, we're gonna windmill it down as we twist onto our back toes again in this low lunge position. Push the ground away and we're gonna shoot into that three-legged dog, shooting our right leg up towards the sky. Good, check out your hands, make sure they're nice and strong here. Keep that leg up, we're almost there. A couple more breaths. Inhale. Exhale, drop it down. Very good, let's roll it forward. Plank, drop it on the belly. Either baby cobra seal or full cobra. Hands stay near the rib cage as you push yourself up. Keep those hips into the ground. Choose whatever variation of this a mini back bend that you would like. Exhale, release. Again, you could do seal, you could do baby cobra, or inhale into full cobra. Take an inhale, exhale, release it down. Take it back, find your child's pose. Good, 
good. Inhale, tabletop, and exhale, just go ahead and sit it up. Good job, everyone. So we built off of the flow that we've already learned, bringing it up a little bit more in the pace. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get into some standing um, balancing po positions, but first, let's just stretch our, our wrists because they did get a lot, of it, a lot of work in in our flow. So just go ahead and flip your palms down right in front of you, just stretching out those wrists. So the back of the hands are on the mat, the palms are up. Good, and release. Now palms down, and just kind of lean forward. Good, and release. Back of the hands down again. Now our fingers are facing each other. Just stretch it out. Good, and release. You can do some wrist circles there if you'd like. Another posture we're gonna add in today before we do our balancing position is a toe stretch. This is a little bit of an intense stretch, so if you have any toe injuries um, or anything going on with your toes, you may want to skip this one. Feel free to try it out first. If it doesn't feel good, go ahead and skip it. So to get into our toe stretch, we're going to be sitting on our heels here. We're going to lean forward and we're going to tuck our toes under. So reach back if you need to and spread all those toes out. We want all of them nice and as much space in between all of them as we can. Make sure they're faced forward, so we don't want them facing out from the side. Your toes should be faced forward as much as they can. And just go ahead and sit back on the heels. So this is our toe stretch. You may be able to feel this already. If it feels too intense, don't go all the way back. Okay, stay with your hands on the ground. This is a toe stretch as well, and you may be able to feel it here. So this is perfectly fine. Good, let's all inhale forward, untuck the toes, and pat them on the ground. Good, we're gonna do that one more time. Tuck your toes under, sit your hips back, and find your toe stretch. You can sit up like this. This is gonna be adding a lot of weight and a lot of pressure into those toes. So don't feel pressured to go this far. If you wanna stay leaning forward, do that. So go wherever your body is feeling it. You don't want it to hurt. Couple more breaths, stretching out our toes. Good. Take it forward, untuck the toes, pop those feet on the ground. Good. Good job, everybody. So let's go ahead and hop up. We're going to get our balancing in. Good. So let's go ahead and shift our weight into our left foot. Bend that right, right knee or right leg, and your right heel should be right on the ankle at the base of our tree here. A couple breaths. Bring those hands to heart center. Just finding our grounding, finding our balance. Maybe close down those eyes. Feel the gentle sway of your body. Very good. Open up the eyes and begin to find your tree. Remember, you could stay right at the base. That's perfectly fine. Or maybe move it up to the calf. Maybe move it up to the inner thigh. Find a, ground, a spot on the ground to focus on, to bring your attention there. Notice what kind of surface you're on. If you're on a squishy mat, it's gonna throw off your balance just a little bit. So try to find a little bit of a harder surface if it does feel like that. So here in our tree, we're just hanging out, maybe growing our branches, reaching those arms out towards the side. You could have one hand on the thigh, one arm reaching, and just relax here, finding some balance. more breaths. Good. Let's inhale those hands up. Exhale hands to heart and gently release that leg all the way down onto the ground. Go in and walk the feet out. Let's do the other side. Shift the weight into that right foot. Make your little kickstand with your left. Left foot on the ankle. Left knee is bent out. First, here, let's close down our eyes. Just tuning into our body, feeling our natural sway that is usually happening all the time. We're just not ever still enough to notice it. 
Good. Gently open up the eyes and bring that foot on the calf or stay at the base of the tree. Remember, that's perfectly fine. Or bring it towards the inside of that thigh. Wherever you would like to grow your tree is perfect. Keeping the hands at heart center or maybe growing your branches. Have one hand on the thigh, one hand up. Couple breaths here, finding that spot to focus on. Gently release that foot all the way back down on the ground and walk it out. Very good. Let's go ahead and make our way back onto our mat. We're going to finish off with some breathing. I'll have you lay down in a Shavasana and we will be done for the day. Let's go ahead and lay back on our back. Allow the body to relax. And just close down the eyes. We're gonna finish off with five ujjayi breaths. You could have hands on the side of the body here, maybe one hand on the chest, one hand on the belly. And let's go ahead and get started. Inhaling deeply through the nose. And let's exhale first with the open mouth. Good, let's take four more. Inhaling deeply through the nose. Exhale. Good. These last three, let's close our mouth for the exhale. Inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale. Two more. Inhaling deeply through the nose. Here, allow your body to relax, to absorb what we've done throughout the past 40 minutes of class. Just a moment of silence and stillness for yourself. Stay here as long as you need to. If you want to pause the video and stay in Shavasana for 10, 15, 5 more minutes, feel free to do that. If you're ready to get up, let's go ahead and bring some movement into the wrists, into the ankles. Take those arms up overhead like you just woke up in the morning for a nice big stretch. Let's go ahead and roll over to the side to help you yourself up to a seated position. All right, and we are finished for today. Thank you all for following along. Thank you all for being here for this class and throughout this semester. We're almost done. We almost have a few more classes. So again, thank you all for following along and for your continued participation. So I hope you all have a great rest of the day, a great week, and I look forward to our next class. Until then, bye-bye.